So one of the videos that I did, I think it was audio or on camera, I got to check in, um, is a video where I asked a question that if not for the soft reboot or reboot of the comic, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog comic under Archie, had that not happened, you know, my question was, did Ian Flynn have plans to redeem Fiona Fox? And the reason I asked that question is because, you know, after the Scourge lockdown story ended, it seemed like we were heading into a bigger story, you know, element after the whole Mecca Sally situation, which was going to focus more on Scourge and what he was going to do, maybe Dr. Fentivius, uh, you name it. Um, but we never got that due to the reboot. We never got that due to the reboot. But the question, you know, still remained, you know, with, you know, in my opinion, and I'm sure others had the same, you know, question of, was he ever planning to, you know, turn her back over to the side of good? Well, somebody commented on that video uh, today, and a shout out to Cheeky Boy Entertainment, that, that's their name. And they said in the comment that they remember hearing somewhere that Ian Flynn regretted turning Fiona Fox evil. And I looked at that. I looked at that question and I'm like, okay, if he regretted turning Fiona Fox evil, then here's a question. Why do it in the first place? Why turn her evil in the first place if, you know, by his own admittance, according to uh, Cheeky Boy Entertainment, why, you know, even do it if you're going to, you know, look back and say, hey, I regret doing that? You know, why even do it? Well, honestly, I think it's mainly because, and I think I believe, I believe I should say I said this before, is because... I feel he felt that, in my opinion, he felt we didn't have enough female antagonist, if you know what I mean, or at least female um, anti-heroes or whatever you want to call them, you know, in the book. And so by putting Fiona into that role, I guess it kind of fulfilled that quota. And the timing, you have to think about this, is kind of, you know, unique as well because her turn occurred basically a little over two years after, or two years before, I should say, not after, but two years before the whole Iron Dominion arc occurred, and we had Regina, the Iron Queen, as the main focus for quite some time. So you have to think to yourself, was this something that, you know, was this something that, you know, Ian felt was needed to balance things out? Or was it just something that, you know, he felt, you know, could shake things up, kind of give people an idea of what, you know, they were in store, you know, store, what they were in store for, excuse me there, uh, with him behind the, by, you know, with him behind, you know, the keyboard, if you know what I mean. That's, that's the one I'm trying to find. You know, was it that, you know, was it that means as well? As well as, like I said earlier, trying to fulfill a quota of, hey, we need more female antagonists or anti-heroes and whatnot. You know, it makes you wonder. But again, if you're somebody that, you know, that's like Ian Flynn, according to what this person said, and you're mentioning maybe in an interview or something like that, that you regretted turning a character evil, then again, the question is, why do it? It's the same thing with the Mecha Sally arc. If you knew it would be a risk and that risk would probably result in negative feedback, then why even do it? Why even go that route? You see, it doesn't make sense. But again, I think the reason he did it with Fiona is not only for shock value, but to give folks an idea of what they were in store for with him basically putting the stories together. But it does kind of feel like, again, Looking back at my original question, you know, that I did in that one video, as well as, you know, listen, you know, reading this comment and then looking at the final Fiona story that she was, or the final story she was involved in, Scourge Lockdown, you know, it makes you wonder if maybe that was, a, you know, his intention. Like if he did regret, maybe even back then, hey, maybe this wasn't a good move. You have to wonder if maybe his plans were to redeem her. You know, you have to you have to think about that. 
You have to think about that because if what this Cheeky Boy Entertainment is saying is true, um, again, you have to wonder if maybe even back then when the comic was still under the um, Archie license pre-reboot, if maybe he was planning to uh, redeem Fiona in a future story arc. I mean, it would basically bring her character full circle, you know, bring her character full circle and maybe you could maybe plan, maybe because his thing Here's the thing. We don't know how far in advance writers of any kind, story writers of any kind, script writers of any kind, we don't know how far in advance, you know, they might plan a story, you know, might, they might plan a story out, if you know what I mean. We don't know how far in advance, okay? We don't know that. But, you know, as far as, but as far as we know, if they plan it far enough, you know, if they do plan it far enough, then pretty much you're going to get ideas of, hey, they got something, you know, pretty much planned big or semi-big for such and such character or characters, period. So you have to wonder if maybe he was planning her redemption all the way back at, all the way back to when he had her turn or maybe even after the uh, subtle, you know, temporary uh, takeover of Freedom HQ dubbed the Moebius Invasion or whatever they want to call it. You know, you have to wonder. You have to be curious about that. But we may never know. We may never know. But if what uh, this person is saying is true, then again, it does kind of tie in. It does kind of tie in, if you will, uh, with, you know, it does kind of tie in, if you will, with my question of was he planning to do it? You know, had the book you know, not been rebooted, and if not been canceled. You have to you have to think about that. You really do. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Did you hear about this as well? That Ian, did you hear about this as well somewhere? And maybe you guys can pinpoint me to where that's at. Did Ian Flynn, let, you know, regret turning Fiona, you know, evil? And if so, do you think it does tie into my theory that maybe he had plans after Scourge lockdown to redeem her? Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Love to hear from each and every one of you. And until next time, I am out.